Talking to the next door neighbor of a woman who was rescued after being trapped inside her mobile home home for hours. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer live in Marietta tonight. Brooklyn, these stories we're hearing are unbelievable. Yeah, Cody, um, very scary stories, very terrifying. And right now we're just down the street from where that woman was found early yesterday morning here in Marietta. Now, I was in that community all afternoon and saw that an entire community was truly devastated by this storm. Houses, trees, and debris were scattered everywhere. It was truly a devastating sight. A phone call woke Sherry Harris up early Monday morning, her friend telling her to take shelter immediately. A tornado was heading her way. Grabbed everybody up and bent down. I started crying, started praying to God. An EF2 tornado swept by Sherry's house near Laurel and Hardy Lake Road in Marietta. She says she took shelter and prayed as the storm went by. I was so scared. All I needed to do was just start praying and get everybody and cover my grandson up. The tornado left little damage to Sherry's house, but just feet away, her neighbor wasn't so lucky. Come through my property and went through the woods on the side of my property and completely just picked her trailer up, took it, lifted it completely up with her and the kids in it and slung it down at the end of the road down here and flipped it upside down. Sherry says her friend Katie and her kids were entrapped inside their trailer for hours. The kid's dad called me and was almost in tears telling me, Sherry, please y'all get through the woods, try to find her. I can't find Katie. I heard that the house is on top of her. Crews found Katie and her children trapped under the rubble and debris. Their trailer had been flipped upside down thrown feet away. She said, Cherry, I was crying, praying. I didn't know that we weren't gonna make it out of that. She said, so I just took every bit of strength that I had and just pushed to hold it up. And she knew, she knew it was God too. She knew it was God that protected her. Now, I spoke with her friend Katie earlier today. She tells me she and her kids were taken to the hospital, but they're now at home, or excuse me, at a relative's home, recovery, recovering, and they're doing okay. Live in Marietta, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.